Hello my friends and welcome to episode 42 of our Football Manager Let's Play with Rangers. Now I've jumped in to the game by accident when I was meant to show you the schedule first because I didn't show you that last episode and our season started uh, fairly well. We beat Hibs 3-1, a 90th minute thunderbolt from Kevin Nisbet got them a consolation goal before Patterson got sent off in the 94th. Fitty Parp with a brace on his debut and Billy Gilmore with a goal on his return. We then beat Aberdeen 2-1. Fatih Park and Nico on the score sheet. Sam Cosgrove scored what was basically their only shot on target in the entire game. It was really frustrating. He has a ridiculous record against us. But hey-ho, it is what it is. We won the game. And Fatih Park has shown that he can be prolific. He was meant to play today, by the way. And I forgot I rested him for the Dunfermline game. So he isn't even on the bench. So we've got Tony Weston starting. Not that that's a bad thing. Um, we then played Hibs. We went 2-0 up. Uh, no, we didn't. We went 1-0 up, then 1-0, then 2-1 up, and then 2-0. Sorry. Excuse me. Memory is shocking. Batista Mayer with a goal. Tony Weston with a goal. And Nathan Young-Coombs with a goal to in the 93rd minute to prevent extra time or a replay, whichever one happens in this competition. In fact, it may be straight to penalties in this competition. Um, but it was a deserved, deserved victory if you have a look at the stats. Um, again. In fact, no, it wasn't. This was the closer... In the first game, I'm getting confused. What game was it that was like a deserved victory? St. Mirren, no idea what happened. Absolutely no idea what happened. We basically we played poor in the first half and then basically battered them for the second half. And their goalkeeper had an absolute stormer. We then responded with a 6 2 win over Dundee United, the side that had just turned round a 3 0 deficit to Galatasaray to get in the Europa League. Batista Mayer with a goal, Leon King with a goal, and Fatih Parp with four. Ian Castillo got himself sent off because we love it when players get themselves sent off. Um, in truth, that was a mistake by Bradaric. Bradaric hasn't started the season particularly well. He has started today because I trust him in the Champions League. Uh, Bradaric made a silly pass further forward in the pitch. They countered. Castillo was the first one to get back. He was already on a yellow, unfortunately, and he had to make the challenge. And he just didn't time it right, unfortunately. It was one of them where I would be angry if he didn't make the challenge. He got him sent off for the team, essentially. And the team actually played better with 10 men. You'll see he got sent off in the 54th minute. 62, 91 and 92 was when the goals came, when three of the goals came. It, it baffles me to how we were so good uh, in the second half uh, with 10 men. They led at half-time 2-1 through Lawrence Shankland. They didn't play particularly great Dundee United, but when they had the ball... And they got him, but Shanklin was getting in behind our defence a fair bit, which was concerning. We then played Dunfermline, and I changed the squad a bit for this game. Um, Tony Weston got a brace, Ross McCrory scored, Richie Holzer got a brace and missed a penalty, and Leon King also on the score sheet. Leon Cullen getting them a consolation. So no clean sheets yet this season, other than that 0-0 draw against St Mirren, which is slightly concerning. We're going to skip back to submit to... I don't think it'd let me change. I did come out of this screen, so hey ho, if it'd let me change, then that is a glitch. Tony Weston is in. Uh, now it was a mistake to play him. I should have been playing Arp. But it's one that I want to do. Now you've seen that I was in the screen, I went back out, it gave me the option to change. I did not change it in fairness. That might be a bug. But if whether it would let me change or not, I don't know. It might have been a bug. Because it didn't ask me to confirm my selection. Um but we've got Dan Lack and goal. Doig, Almeida, Winkler in. It would have been Leon King who started the season very, very well. But for some reason, he was available for reserves. Now, I remember taking that off at the end of last season. For some reason, it was back. I have made sure that is off again. But at that, it starts, as I said. I feel like um, Vincent has started the season better. But Bradaric in the Champions League tends to be where he brings out his best performances. So I'm kind of open, giving him this game. will kick him on a bit. You've got Nico... And Castillo in the midfield roles, Mayer in the 10, Holster in the 7. Now, he's not the quickest Richie Holster, but he started the season well, so I'm giving him the shot, basically. Uh, Tony Wesson up top, as I've mentioned, and Batista Mayer. We'll have a look at their team. Names that we will recognise, very strong one, is Srojina Pavlovic. We're going to have some issues in the air. They've also got Ryan Sessignon and Nicholas Pepe, who some of us might recognise. And it's Unai Simon, that midfielder that's completely broken on FIFA. Um, but we're going to go out there. We're going to try and have faith. Now, our group is hard. We've got Milan out of tier. We were third season. We've got Milan out of the fourth seed tier pot, which is utterly ridiculous. 
but hey ho, it is what it is. So that changed the complexity of the group. When I was looking at this group, I thought this is the easiest group when we were getting drawn out with Leon and Leipzig. Now, I'm not saying that they are the worst teams, in the, but it was the easiest combination of teams. There was always at least, you know, a ridiculous pot two or one of the stronger pot ones um, in a group. You, you had no balance. This was sort of the two, it was two mid-tiers, if you like. Oh, it's a decent effort from Imi. Yankees still done well to keep up with them. Just eventually had to make a challenge and hope they're getting a block and couldn't do it. It's whipped in. Away by Almeida. Mayer flicks on. Does find Tony Weston. Tony Weston in behind. Can he keep going here? One more man to be, and then the goalkeeper can't beat the man. Unfortunately, Tony uh, uh, Weston coming short at the end there. But positive stuff for that counter attack. Positive stuff for how we defended the corner. I'm reasonably content with how we defended the initial attack. Um, so yeah it's a decent start it's a decent start so far is that Saint Marcus Asensio as well in there oh it's a good Leon team we know some of the players uh, and we're away from home where we tend to struggle away from home Richie Holster heads clear Almada picks up Na is that Nathan Ake as well oh Emmy on the overlap that's dangerous it's off the post and away by Diego Almeida <sighs> That overlap just completely caught us off guard there. That's the first time I think they've carved us open. Cornered again, way by Nico this time. Almada, again the man that picks up the, and bringing it forward for Leon. We just can't get out, which is an issue. Mayer giving away another corner. We know how dangerous Pavlovich is, which makes me so nervous every time they're getting a corner. Richie Holster getting it away though. Emmy, Richie Holster out to do it and away for a throw in. Sometimes you just got to do that. Get out there, get reset. Maffeo throws in to Aki. Back to Maffeo. Imi. Kukere. Almeida. Paqueta. Wrinkler's coming out to marshal him away. Challenge from Deutsch. Doesn't quite get the ball clean enough though. Kukere. Deutsch has two men to mark here. Three maybe. It's not ideal. Castillo steps in well on that ball. Love Romare. He's kind of waited too long. Castillo doesn't. First time across to Batista Mayer. Crossed across. Richie Holster. Oh, you've got to bury that. He's had a few very good loan spells, Richie Holster. And I wanted to give him the shot this year. Rather than going out and buying a right winger. And... Why is it... Go Someone please explain to me why the goalkeeper's just sat on his knees. One more should he play because he was I'm sure he was sat on his knees before that shot even went off there. Comes inside, Maffeo does it. Yeah, he sits on his knees before the shot goes. What are you doing? Now granted the defending could be better. But that is shocking. We need to find a way out here. Kirkery. Wrinkler away. Finds Weston. Batista Mayer. He's got men on the left. Right rather. Finds Mayer. Lovro Mayer. Oh, beautiful from the Croatian. His first of the season. He was on fire last season, but his first this season. Beautiful. Batista Mayer with the assist. He's been a bit of a, challenge, a channel legend, actually, Batista Mayer. So it's not a surprise that I've ended up signing him again, but he was legitimately the best option for Pry, uh, for pound for pound in terms of ability to replace Kane. Adam Plozic can slot in that position, which is, again, why his decision changed. Also, I discovered that he is homegrown at the club. Now, which is also a big factor in not wanting to sell cheap. Lovro Mayer whips in. They got Almeida. Oh, he's not quite got his first goal yet. We just... The issue with the corners, and I've been watching them, is we are still creating the chances from the corners that we were creating to, you know, to score every other game from them. We're just not getting the headers on target as Lovro Mayer has turned this game on its head. They've went ahead and since then our players have reacted well. There's a good press there. Batista Mayer and Castillo and Nico. Just beautiful play. He's got two guys in front of him that he cannot use. At one point you expect that the defence will go deep or they'll push back to get themselves on side. 
And Love From Her just goes, yeah, it doesn't matter. You guys just do what you want. Please with how you've played so far, but there's room for improvement. Is kind of where I am thinking for this one. Because realistically, we've not been great, but I'm not going to hammer them for being 2-1 up away to Leon. Uh, because you're not going to get two, two goals uh, to get ahead in Leon very often. They are a good side. Imi. Mafeo. Almeida. Cross to Bardi. Paqueta. Oh, that's a great ball. That is a great ball. Almada has to do better than that, to be fair. That was a great ball. Caught the defender out completely. And caused a lot of issues there. We got away with it. Richie Holster off the tackle. Again, not quite... It was committed to it, but not quite committed enough. It's a tame effort from Mafeo this time. The goal scorer and Danilak will pick up. The wonder kid Polish international goalkeeper. Danilak launches forward. Batista Mayer tries to flick it inside. Can't find... Enough oomph on it to get to Tony Weston. Mafeo bringing it forward again. Paqueta. It's a decent ball. What a challenge from Diego Almeida, by the way. What a challenge that is. Bradaric to Mayer. Whipped in. Richie Holster. It's decent. I'm going to flick down to positive here. I just want to see how positive works. And, you know, if it doesn't work, we can change back. But... I'm wondering if we are committing too many men forward. We are going to bring on a Ross McCrory as well for Jan Castillo. Uh, a bit of leadership in the midfield. Castillo is tied in, which is a bit of a surprise, actually, because he was rested for the Dundee game because he was suspended, obviously. So it's a bit shocking that he's as tired as he is. We will also bring on Nathan Young-Coombs for, not Batista Mayer. Yes, cancel changes. We'll bring Nathan Young Coombs on for Richie Holster. Um, try and let, you know, one, let Richie Holster have a rest. But Young Coombs is very, very quick. Counter-attacking could become important. Richie Holster doesn't have that natural pace. Um, so hopefully, just a little change, a little bit of injection of pace. Um, Fitness-wise, we need to either bring on a, a Bruno or Billy Gilmore. And I'm now debating which way we go. It's going to be Bruno because Doig is saying he's having a poor game. He's on a 6.0. Nico is having a good game on a 7.10. Bruno is an extremely good defensive defender. So here we go. Bruno on for Josh Doig. Bradaric also tied in. He's not had a lot of game time this season either. So that could just be a match fitness thing. Aki to Paqueta. Paqueta has done very, very well today, actually. He's broke the lines a few times. Here he is again. Paqueta, great block from the shot from Dolberg. I'm going to stick. Tactics. Um, let's have a quick look at opposition how line up. Paqueta's on the left. I'm going to swap you two around. You are still going to go back to Mazzelli on support. You're going to go to deep line playmaker on defend. And I'm going to give you more specific player. Why are you not an option here? Lucas Paqueta, yes. Mark Tyser. Done. Just see if we can get Paqueta. I think he's causing us a lot of problems. He's on a 6.9, which isn't ideal. But it just mixes it up as well. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. Pepe, bringing it in. It's wide. It is wide. <coughs> they have battered us today. There's no doubt in my mind that they have battered us. And so far, we have got away with it. Let's not curse it. And Almeida. That was an absolutely unbelievable ball, by the way. And it's caused all issues for our defence. Dolberg won the header. Kukarek got across to Paqueta. McCrory's doing a decent job at Marsh on him. And he just picks out this cross. And then it's about who is running there. And Almeida is the man that's running there, unfortunately for us. I cannot be disgruntled that we're not winning this game. Um, it might be frustrating, but I cannot be disgruntled at it. But we've got a counter-attack here as Nathan Young Coombs goes. Can he finish? It's a good save from Deitch. And that's where the pace came in there. 
And that is where the pace came in. Mayer with the corner. I feel like a corner situation has been kind of a bit messed up there. Nico should not have been in the box like that. McCrory nods away. But again, can't get out. Nathan Youngcombs just launches it, hoping to find Weston. But he does find the second ball. That is good. Don't know what happened to my accent there, but that was good. Mayer, again, just dallying on the ball. Just play a pass, man. You're surrounded. You've got to play that pass. Nico, good challenge. Bradaric. Launches it forward. He's found Tony Weston. Tony Weston for the win. And he's put it wide. Oh. I mean, we wouldn't have deserved it. I cannot say we'd have deserved it. But that's two big, big chances since the equalise for us now. Ugh. Oh. My fail, matched by Bradaric, getting the block in. The crosses aren't dangerous if you block them. And that's a good thing to remember. Not dangerous if you block them. Nico away. Lovro Mayer picks up. Now he's got to make sure that he's picking the passes at the right time here. And again, he waits and waits and waits. Now he's picked up a free kick this time. But there was a moment there where a, just a simple pass would have set Tony Weston through. So I might need to have a look at his individual instructions because he's not passing the ball like he would have last year. Um, which is interesting. It's whipped away. Nico picks up. And it's full time. Two all in Leon. It's not a bad result. Uh, certainly un we were under the cost for a lot of that game. We didn't play our best. Uh, and when you take a point away at Leon, when you're not playing your best, you're doing something right, I think. We've got Falkirk up next, which we're not going to show, of course. So we will jump back for... Milan at home in the next episode. Um, I'm trying to stick to the home games from now on because they're just that little bit more entertaining, I think. Um, but anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, smash the like button, hit subscribe, and I'll hopefully catch you all next time.